Hello my friends, so welcome again. We are in the part 4 now to create Laravel URL shortener and here is our application. Here is our code application. We have the short URL controller, the welcome and the routes here. Okay, we have this route with a post to the short and Inside the short controller, we have the short method. So when we have the web post request of the short, we check if we have the request with the original URL and the name is original URL here. So if we have that original URL, we create a new URL here and we just pass the original URL this original URL. If I go to the table plus, yeah, we just pass the original URL here. And after that, if we have that new URL, because maybe we had, we had an error and we don't have that. So if we have a new URL, we create a new short URL with a base convert method. We at the new URL ID for your unique and we add 10 and 36 so if we go to the base convert uh, PHP yeah here you have all the best convert works you, ex you expect a number from base to base, so I add 10 to 36, the max. Okay, and after that, we update the new URL and add short add the short URL. This short URL we created. Okay, good. So if I go here, we I don't have any data. I delete all the data here. So go to our application, refresh, and just put. A URL here, short URL, and we redirect it back. And if I come here, refresh, yeah, we have the original URL and short URL here. And visits zero, user ID is not okay. Well, first, I want to make a request to validate this uh, original URL. We can validate here, but just to demonstrate to you, I'm just going to create a new request with artisan php artisans but i have an alias for that so artisan make request a short request and inside the http directory you have the request directory and here is a request uh, change the fails to true to authorize that so we are authorizing this and the rules is only for the original url here and we give the rule to required and also to be url save close this one now inside the short controller short url controller set the method here instead of the request we add the or request which is a short request good remove this and save and if you go here refresh and pass something else not URL we redirect them back and I want to show so here we don't insert data but I want to show what happened so here we're going to in the blade we're going to check if we have an error and the error is for this original URL so if we have an error for that I'm going to display with a, a span and add a class here with text uh, red 400 and maybe margin 2 and padding 2 and here 
we display the message save this one I go to the browser refresh just now check again and yeah we have the message here okay and now I want to register a new road here and road get and we are going to short or just code here and the controller is the same short controller sorry short url controller and method is going to be show and name is going to be short show okay save now inside the controller we have that we need to create that show method okay method show and we expect the code here and for now i will just go into the and dump the code here okay Good. Now, here we return back. If all oh, is okay, so I'm going to return redirect. And what? Here we have uh, snippets and redirect uh, back. Redirect back with success message and i'm going to say uh, your short url is here and is the url short url we need to add convenient item here just okay save and in the welcome page we need to accept that so i'm going to check if we have a session if this session with that with the that name success message if we have that session here for now, just uh, display the session. Okay, if I save, come back, uh, refresh here, and now put the URL. Short URL. Yeah, we have the short URL is here, and this is the short URL. So if I go here, and yeah, we display, we dine down the got okay uh, I want first want to make this uh, anchor tag so when we go here we can click not just copy uh, and go there but just click and go to the our link okay so to do this we can add an anchor tag here href is going to be we went to concatenate here and add the url URL short URL and the same thing we, we need to dis to dis tell the, to the user here so URL 
short url okay and i'm going to zoom it a little bit out to see all the so if we have a new url here we make a short url and we update that and are you redirecting back with success message short url your short url is and we add the anchor tag the url to the anchor tag and the url to show to the user what is okay so if i save and come back here refresh copy this one again and close this and yeah we have that because we need to escape here so inside the session escape save refresh short, short again yeah now we have the url and if i click now we are directing back to this okay now i don't want just uh, the dying dump but i want to redirect to the url we have here okay and one more thing i want to add a class here with uh, text green uh, 500 okay inside here so first i'm going to check i'm going to get the short url so short url is going to be short url where where the short url is this code uh, get first the first one and uh, so if we have now if we have the short url i'm going to return and redirect not redirect redirect to uh, url so short url and the original link original url in other ways where return redirect redirect to okay save and so if we have a url here we're going to redirect into the original link so if i go here we have that we're going to return to this url here okay if i go here and go back refresh now and make again short url yeah we have the nice now with that green if i check and we are directing back to the original link okay